Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shift. Yeah, I think you're right. The terrifying given what we saw last time we were on this map, but we'll see how things pan out. Again, Space Station coming into this map with a 1-0 lead over Face Clan as they fell just a bit short on Ascent, not able to force overtime, but Face Clan on the attacking side are gonna be punished early on. Busio is able to get over kill. Yeah, it's a little bit tough at least to start. Face Clan already down to three, but they've made their way towards the this kind of weird side of the A side, and they're going to be working their way in to try to pinch some of these defensive members caught in rotation. But already the damage has been done. Marv, I think, is going to find himself a little surprised to see Inski yeah. there. He'll take him down. Zachary will, will refrag that onto Kaplan, who's located up in heaven. No. And now that's going to be another swing. Zachary with three on the round. Now it's just down to the 2v2, but Roka is still a factor. Roka is still alive. One on the opposite side, again. as they start to swing, Bustio with the cross. One player back towards Tetris. It's not looking like a great round here for Face Clan. He's down to 10 HP. He's going to be maybe trying to hightail it over towards the B site, where he can try to take 1v1s between the two remaining players. We'll see what he ends up doing, because it's, it's, it's a tough spot to be in. 30 seconds is, left. especially with 10 health. Like, do you rotate over? If you take long enough, Space Station will likely start to rotate. But it actually looks like they're they're staying put here. They're holding on. So if nothing else, Rockus is going to be able to get the spike down. They're going to get some credits like off of that. But yeah, it looks like I, I've, it's a tough situation uh, for Rockus. See, he knows where they are. You heard the telly and the drone came out. And he's going to take more of a passive setting. He's able to get one. Rockus is going to drop it down to a 1v1 with 10 health. He's not going to do it. Bustio with three on the round. He's going to get the defuse as well. A big opening round there for Space Station. An important one to win, to be fair. Um, but now that we've got this lead, now that Space Station Gaming have got their, their foot in the door, at least for this map, this is something that Face Clan, on that gun round, we'll see if they're able to kind of swing the favor back into to their own pockets. It's something to note is, you know, uh, I often see on Sentinels, Sinatra run the Phoenix, and work there. his way straight up into that A site. Run it back, just completely forces his way into the site. We'll see if Corey is able to have a similar impact. He's playing the Phoenix. He did something relatively similar at the beginning of that first round, but he got stopped by Bustio and Lamps. And so we'll have to keep an eye on Corey and see if he's got that same Sinatra impact. Because, you know, the only reason why I'm even thinking about making that comparison is obviously the drawback from Overwatch. A lot of these players from the Overwatch League. So worth noting, FaZe Clan did force this round. I believe they all had stingers, maybe with the exception of one player uh, on FaZe Clan. But either way, after losing the pistol round, they decided to buy up a little bit, and it's going to be a bit of a slow move here uh, from them, even with the with the guns that they've invested. Uh, now, while Space Station, on the other hand, they have a good bit of utility over on A, and they have some personnel here on B. You hear the drone. That's going to force Roka to back up just a bit. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Corey goes aggressive, but the Stinger gets the kill. Yeah, remember, this is the force up as well here for Space Gun. They want to bring the issue over to Space Station Gaming and try to have an earlier impact rather than late. That previous map on Ascent, they really started to get going once. Going it may have been already too little too late. I think they lost six in a row against Space Station Gaming. And now they back 30 away. Seconds left. Steph is going to be caught a little surprised to see Marv on the opposite side there and now as he's working his way past through the smoke has a flash as well inski will pay the price marv doing wonderful magic back towards this a side and space station game and you're like well do we even bother trying now? well the magic runs dry as bustio is able to take care of marv space station is still down to two however as face clan has the advantage they also did manage to get the spike down we'll break down exactly how things happen here in just a moment because for now it's not over is able to take care of rockets and freaking face clan is just down to two here things look so good but space station gaming have kept it interesting bustio only has 33 health however he can tap he's gonna swing but he's running out of time face clan can just back up Corey's able to take care of things the investment the high risk that came with buying up after losing the pistol pays off for face clan but simo i want to very quickly talk about how face clan played that out right so they invest heavily over on the b first they get the pick on the roca things are looking great and at that point space station's thinking okay they're going over on the b we need to funnel all resources that way 
but after they get that kill on Roka, they actually pull back over onto A while Space Station is still rotating towards B. Rotating, excuse me, towards B. What that allows Marv to do is get into a power position and a pinch where once Space Station realizes, crap, we screwed up, the play is on A, Marv is able to provide the interference that's needed to stop Space Station from getting oh, there. Spike. We saw that play off. I believe Marv got two from pipes while Space Station was rotating over. So Phase Clan just kind of jerked Space Station around there, back and back and forth and back and forth. And even with all of that in mind, Space Station kept it interesting, right? Bustio dropped it down to the one 2 but Phase Clan ultimately was able to emerge victorious. Rockets gets a lot of information Shut there, but you know, for Space Station Gaming. We're going to be maybe seeing something similar this time around, Doug. Something to what you highlighted. Throwing Space Station Gaming around left to right, site to site. They're stacking their pistols towards the B site in anticipation for a push. Now they're going to have to stack all of those resources back over towards the A site after the spike, of course, has been heard being planted the first time, but it will get connected onto that second time. This isn't a gun round for Space Station. I don't imagine they'll be doing a hefty amount of damage, but damage they will do still nonetheless. Space Clan prep towards the A short side, prep towards the showers, and maybe Fire they is waiting, nipples. maybe for a portal play, maybe for a Lurk play. It seems like the Lurk will be the answer. Bustio has it. That's gonna be right to the dome, but misses. Zachary pushes forward and finds a pick there. Roko now gonna try to get involved. Does not find the same success. Seth will be able to find one, but now it's still falling apart for SSG one at a time. Zachary in a great position. Left, right, doesn't matter where the opposition comes from. He's able to hold his own and give Face Clan a second round. Zachary was a monster that round, and it all started off with the showstopper that went a bit wide. He was able to stay alive, and he got three other kills after that, right? Like a four piece in a situation where probably 80. Actually, that's probably a bit generous. 90% of the time, you die there, right? Like you've got a, a ray swinging around the corner with this freaking rocket launcher pointed at your face more often than not you're gonna die but for him to stay alive get that kill and get three rounds after that it's just insane base clan looking good here early on and if they continue that slaying on, prowess we're, we could be looking at that three here Ooh, Roka's got to be careful. He does have to get out of there. Just as well, they're going to use the Owl Zone to try to push through. But hey, Roka's still alive. He's going to find himself in the face of adversity. And he will come out victorious. Two kills for him as Face Clan funnel in towards Zuku. Now it's just down to two final players. They're still interested. One still determined remaining. to prove their worth, prove their medal. But they Whoa. can't. Bustio with one. Bustio with two. A flawless round for Space Station Gaming. Base Clan were so hellbent on making their way through Hookah that they lost all five members as a result. Corey with the ult early on, you want him to be able to clear Hookah? Nah, he got taken out. Okay, fine. You killed my clone. I'm just going to run in and I'm going to try to kill you too. Oh, that didn't work out either. Space Station Bustio, ref like refusing to bend, refusing to give an inch. And that was huge for Space Station. Phase Clan they showed determination they showed hard-headedness uh if nothing else but ultimately not able to convert there i'm just gonna say it now roca is gonna be playing with either inski or bustio consistently on hookah once they condition phase clan enough in this first half we'll see if roca decides to swap or if he decides to change bustio has had some great success towards his a site so they've got two great fraggers prepared and ready to defend pushes on either side. But Roka, more comfortable with the give and take on the Hookah side, and he's got Inski to support him as well. The, the lack of defenses here on this B side mean that now that Face Clan will commit over towards the A side, oh, but they're still going to pull Kaplan off. So that might actually bode well here for Face Clan, but we'll see if they're able to get past Bustio and Seth in this push. Here we go. Corey puts up the wall, trying to provide some sort of cover as they funnel in, but no, the tripwire proves to be the problem maker there as Seth is able to take him out. Rockus trades it back. However, as the spike still has not made it onto the site, and this is taking so long that Space Station has already rotated all but one of their members over on the hill. Plan refusing to want to give, decide to go onto the site anyway, but this time it's paying spike off. Planted. Baby Bay and Zachary are able to get one apiece. Roka, the last one standing. His position's been given away as well. He doesn't have ult to work with. He doesn't have health 
to work with either. Marv takes him out. Face Clan win with four alive. Very good round there from from Face Clan. I'm gonna start to highlight some of the weaknesses here for Space Station Gaming. It seems like Face Clan find a lot of great success towards this A site, and however they decide to end up playing their set plays. And it's usually off of the back off of a deep lurk from the showers. And so they need some sort of showers presence to stop Marv from just free roaming onto the site. He got all the way behind the truck and started to cause a huge problem for SSG. Because once they start to funnel in the correct way through a short, the normal funnel, you're finding yourself, well, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a difficult take. They're totally comfortable with this B-side defense. 100% Roka can hold this hookah push forever, indefinitely. And now that they've committed resources towards the shower side, they're hoping that somebody was going to be there. But no, Face Clan, they want the B site this time around. No see if they're gonna be run. They were able to get a, an important opening pick there. And oh my gosh, this is falling apart for Space, for space Station here. Uh, excuse me, they're down to two. I and know Face exactly Clan, the opening picks early on, it was Baby Bay. It was everyone got everything, everything they wanted. Corey gets in on the action as well. Things not looking Close great for Space Station here. It looks like the spike is going to go down for FaZe Clan. You can rotate over and maybe get an exit. But oh, no. Oh, no. Spike Baby planted. Bay missing a rare shot. Man, that cape. That cape. I, I can imagine. Uh, I forget who, who talked about this. Somebody was super upset about the Sova cape. You can jump peek and, and that cape will keep you alive. That cape is, in fact, the only thing that will keep you alive. But I think, you know, for the most part, I highlighted... At Space Station, we're going to be able to hold their own in Hookah. Unfortunately, it was not the case this time around. It was comboed with a beautiful Hunter's Fury that was able to cause a little bit of an issue pushing in towards Hookah for Space Station Gaming. They couldn't sit tight and they couldn't bunker down. Roka, unfortunately, had the the, uh, the unfortunate of having to push forward to avoid the Hunter's Fury. And he just, Corey and company, just welcomed him with open arms. And so, for Space Station Gaming, got to go back to the drawing board. Face Clan now lead by two. And we'll see how the rest of this half unfolds before I Space Station Gaming, I think, down to an eco. We'll see what they're capable of putting together this time around. Cap will bring a gun, but only because it was saved from the previous round. I, th I think you're right. Elsewhere across the board, it doesn't look like there's going to be much as far as firepower to work with. Meanwhile, for FaZe Clan, they still have the op in the hands of Baby Bay, and we saw that the benefit that that broad in the last round he was able to get an opening pick down belong but this time it looks like he's going to be playing showers you talked about how that was an important area on the map because phase clan had been able to expose it time and time again this time it doesn't look like it's going to be an aggressive push that way they're waiting to see if space station wisely tries to challenge it space station gaming i think we're going to have a really tough time reading how phase clan want to play um Fortunately for them, this is just an eco. This is a round that they would not like to throw away, but they, for the most part, are not going to have statistically a great odd of winning. So they stack their pistols towards the B site. Face Clan just playing precaution, uh, playing precautions, make, making sure that they push in the A site safely, that there's no cheeky shorties waiting on the opposite side. Although I imagine Toronto Mans would love a cute shorty on the opposite side, but that is not the shorty that we're talking about. We're talking about the wet bike course. <laughs> That is that can be very scary uh, if you are a heavy armored up phantom vandal all in your hand walking through no taking it down by the shore. It's not what you want. So space station gaming they're gonna play the retake on this A site. Uh, I, I don't I don't know how many picks they're gonna Flight find. Planted. I don't presume it's gonna be a lot. We'll see what happens. And the, the tricky thing about how they're positioned is they can't even really play for exits because Phase Clan can just pull away towards their spawn and they never interact with anybody. It looks like Space Station might try something a little spicy here. They still have three up in heaven, and they're going to be pushing two and through ropes. Who steals paint cans? He's able to take care of Rock as they made it on their way onto the site. Broke is able to get one as well, but Baby Bay with the Operator makes it sing as Kaplan and Inski are both taken out. Roka is able to trade back over and take the op off, off the map, but basically it's just down to one. Zachary with the uh, with the oh, excuse me, goes aggressive. He's able to get one, oh. but Steph takes care of them with the fan. Wow. They're going to get the defuse as well. A thrifty round win for Space Station and an important one at that. So I tee that up by saying, yeah, whatever. It's just the eco. Yeah. Well, like, I, I forget that I'm casting Space Station Gaming. Like, I need 
I feel like I need to do the ice bucket challenge on stream or something like that. I need to wake up. I need some ice cold water and ice cubes to hit my face r right oh, directly nice into the temple so I that wake the heck up. I'm casting Space Station Gaming, who have one of the best eco rounds in Tier 2 Valorant, yes, maybe even Tier 1 Valorant. Nice These guys will turn nothing into something, and that's exactly what they did that round. The key thing that I want to notice is that they managed to upgrade their weaponry in the midst of the chaos. Mm -hmm. Roka found a phantom, and so did Seth, and that brought the fight evened out. It evened out the fight. Like you called out, the early pick with the paint shells, that opened up that push because they have a member missing from Face Clan. Yeah, Baby B popped off, but he didn't pop off on the right players. They were still able to cause a ruckus, back down to 1v2, and, you know, the rest is history. So Space Station Gaming, they're still fighting back round after round. They still want to be in this map and close things out here. You know, Simo, you would think is as their lucky charm that, yeah, you, you, you would expect... <laughs> you would expect Space Station uh, possible at any point. Look at how aggressively Baby Bay's going. He gets all the way up. He's going to use the op and he's going to use the blade so well. He goes up. He's able to take him apart. Looking for the second one. The classic's not going to do it. Old Faithful fails him as he gets taken out. Space Station still, however, given all of that ruckus, is down to two members left. And unfortunately, they're on the wrong side of the map. Man, I, I wish I... I want to go back and watch every single... 30 seconds left. ...phase plan of Vlad moving forward, even for this tournament, for First Strike. And I just want to pay attention to Marv's movement, because he always finds himself in these precarious situations where he's, like, like, trying to hunt them down or trying to put himself in a position to stop rotations early. And you need that type of player. You need a filthy lurker to do that job for you. It's a yep. dirty job. It's a tough job. Because it doesn't get appreciated enough. Because just like that, that could happen to you. You know, you're lurking, yep. you're out trying to pick some daisies off the floor, and you get headshot with an operator. Like, it's not a, a beautiful life to live. While the rest of the team, they're being the heroes. They've got the Avengers assembled, and they're pushing into the B site to fight Thanos. Where you've got Marv, who's off on another planet, trying to do his own thing, trying to find success. It is not an easy job. And I, I just think that he, he deserves a little credit here for FaZe Clan's round-by-round -round success on the attack. Well, and, and Simo, I think the fascinating thing about a player like that is when it's good, man, it's good. Like we saw early on on that pendulum swing back and forth, pushed his way up pipes, caught all rotating through. It was that aggressive, like lurking, that aggressive fighting around pinch points in the map that pays off. So when it's good, it's good. It's pretty. But when it's bad, man, oh man, is it bad. So I think you're right. We need to talk about Marv more. Those are, those are like... Let's go here. Those are map defining plays because that not only does it obviously cause fits uh, for whatever team it's opposing, but it makes them think twice about how they move around the map. They're always yeah. going to be questioning is Marv here? Is Marv around the corner? Is he going to be faking us? Is he behind us? Oh, I like that play. I like the attempt. Oh, and Roka gets away as well. So let's talk about this. We talk about how FaZe Clan loves to hit this A site and, and they use Marv as this sheep goat to kind of push through, go through showers, find a pick, find two. And statistically, throughout the course of this half, he has done that. But now they've got this buddy system that tried to, to tried to meet in the middle um, in towards that shower side. And Marv was there for the refrag. If Baby Bay gets got peeked on and died, Marv was there to turn things around. But instead, he falls and Baby Bay survives. Flight. And I'd ultimately take that trade 10 times out of 10 because of how Baby Bay plays. He gets mm -hmm. in, he gets sweaty, he gets a good workout in, and he finds multiple kills. That's what you want. Marv, he's done his job. He's provided safety, at least for Baby Bay for the time being. We'll see how they now funnel the resources towards this B-site and how Space Station Gaming react accordingly. Now, and look at how Space Station has responded. 30 seconds Th this is, left. Again, an opportunity where they could swing and then swing back, but Space Station has left some on a, now they're gonna rotate over, but at this point they're committed. They Baby Bay's able to get one, but the spike has been tapped twice. It has not fully committed. However, Corey trying to work his way around the site. Hiroka has used the Empress as they try to get onto it as well. Ten but the seconds spike left. still has not got, got down. They oh. started the dang thing 26,000 times, but they're more interested in getting the kills and so far. So good, but Steph not able wow. to stick around long enough to take care of things. It was dicey, it was explosive, and FaZe Clan emerged from the dust standing. Holy smokes. Usually I have something ridiculously unintelligent to say that is like an obscure <laughs> reference, but that was that was just a crazy round. That's all I could say. That was just a crazy round 
Um, you could see Corey was struggling to get the spike down. He must have put that thing down five times before the, the tendrils of the spike actually met the soil of the ground. But Space Station Gaming, they fought for that site. And I commend them for it. Space Clan were, were getting dirty. Uh, and, and they were like, yeah, you, you want this site? We want it just as bad as you. And so a fight went back and forth. And now Space Station Gaming down to an eco, down to a pistol. They had the showstopper. There is a refrag. I like that. I like what I see. But Kaplan's got to worry about these three members that are behind him on the B side. And Mark, once again, is on the flank. I don't know that space station is going to have the guns to even get far enough in the round for that to be a factor but keep an eye on marv rotating no way, over either on. way the spike is going to go down there is the hunter fury to at least delay things for a little bit longer oh yeah marv oh marv he's a freaking nuisance he won't go away causing fits for space station that flank from showers is enough to get two kills and to keep the round up the spike is able to go down just one left on the side of space station and they don't have much artillery to work with they know exactly where he is and he's worse for where to Lucio's a dead man walking at this point oh he's trying to hide he's trying to survive one shot is all it takes to take him down excuse me oh yeah yeah okay okay the safe for me the one the one shot, the one noise that he made, he was caught. Yeah, there was no way he was going to survive it after that. So, looking at the round at hand, looking at this half at hand, 3-7, to seven, Phase Clan in a very comfortable lead, but that could obviously flip on a dime once we get to that second half. Space Station Gaming likely a little bit more comfortable with attacking. We see how Roka, especially being a power player for Space Station Gaming, alongside Bustio, probably feeling a little bit more comfortable with being the ones that push in as opposed to the ones being def defending the push. So we'll see what that second half looks like. We're not there quite yet. Two more rounds remain. It looks like Space Station came out with Duncan play and they're going to try to stop the push towards the A side, but Marv isn't in position. It's all down oh, this wow. heavy push towards short. And so far it's working out, but Wolf has got other plans in store. Corey's chasing him down, but he escapes. So far it's the trade. Space Station Gaming just down the two and he's playing in the site by storm. And it was, it was off the back so the run it back right like even in the ult he gets aggressive he pushes up towards u-haul unfortunately his teammate is able to take care of the kill while he was paranoid maximum like efficiency maximum like nuisance no annoyingness was produced annoyingness i don't think that's a word either way it was enough from face clan it was enough from corey to really allow them to take that site and then marv as you mentioned from showers was a bit delayed but he managed to get onto the site anyway do what he had to do and give face clan the site Page and triggered. consequently give face clan the round once again face clan like a pack of hyenas they smell blood in the water and so does marv they can smell fresh prey from miles and last miles away and then they the do half. their fine step last round of regulation here for this first half face clan up by five soon to be up by six if space station gaming can't secure this round I wouldn't say the importance is too heavy. You know, they're they're past that 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 mark, that bench uh, that benchmark of if they lose the pistol, it's not really that down and out that bad. Mm -hmm. But they definitely would be a lot more comfortable if they were sitting eight and four at the half. So we'll mm -hmm. see what they're capable of. We'll see what the setup looks Get like. Space line interested in the B side, which Space Station has relatively given up control of this hookah side, giving a little bit more respect to Face Clan. Yeah, worth noting, Bustio has a judge, if I'm not mistaken, so he's not going to have a ton to work with there. You see Rock is using the Hunter Fury to try to clear out the site for his teammates, but you didn't clear out Itsuki as he takes care of Baby Bay, and the push on to B is stifled, at least for the time being, but they're going to go anyway. The spike is still waiting back down B long. Does it end up being picked oh, up? Marv. Marv doing what Marv does best. He's back towards the defender spawn. Space Station Gaming are scratching their heads, wondering how in Tar Nation did that happen? That's right, superhero Toronto man Marv finds those two picks in rotation. Now it's just down to two final players for Space Station. And fortunately for them, Space uh, Face Clan aren't really sure where they want to get that spike settled. They don't know where Space Station are. Kaplan's going to likely try to deal with Marv here as he's peeking in towards the on if he sees him he does and takes him down things are now looking a little better but zachary 
He's close to the action. Close 30 seconds the left. He's the owl drone come through, and as a result, they know exactly where this spike is going to be planted. Let's see how SSG reacts to the spike post planted. scenario. No more charges. They have no idea where they're going to be coming from. All right, so he's going to put up the camera and try to lock down this elbow area of the map. Kaplan has been caught. So they know exactly where he is, but they don't know where the rest of Space area. Station is. So they've got some of that working for them, but now they're going to go. They're going to peek. The camera Rocket has been taken out. Ending. That's going to be the first interaction, and Inski's able to take care of Rockets. One left on the side of Space Station, and it's Zachary. He's got, he's got enough health to keep things interesting. They tap the diffuse in, uh, initially, and Inski. Inski with three on the round is able to take care of Zachary. The spike gets diffused as well. You were right earlier, Simo, and you said they're beyond the point of crap. If we lose Switching the pistol, sides. it's essentially over. And they would have loved this round to keep things more comfortable. And well, they delivered. You know, I think the story of that first half were Space Station Gaming getting accustomed to FaZe Clan's antics. And we saw them really run awry, able to string four rounds together at one point or another. But Space Station held on for as long as they could and managed to put together four rounds. This is where things start to flip script. And we'll see if Space Station Gaming are able to have a really good attacker side, attacker half, because that is ultimately what they would want to close out the series for FaZe Clan. Based on what we know, their defense, not the greatest. We'll see what they're capable of doing here. As they like to get a little aggressive, like to get a little bit involved, but sometimes if you play it slow and play the retake, you end up being just as successful. But so far, pretty standard stuff. Members split up across the map. And once again, Face Clan taking the issue to SSG as they push up through the showers. They find Seth, but Face Station Gaming, they're nowhere near that shower side. Yeah, they're going to be so late for the retake here on B. And Roka's already mowing down through members of Face Clan. They're down to three members left. They're going to show up, as we said, a bit late, but they're going to be there in time, especially if the spike doesn't go down. Now it's going to begin to be planted. Rock is on the elbows trying to cause some problems here. But it, again, it's just by time, right? By time for the rest of your team to show up. Yeah, but they know where they are now. They saw those two members down long. He peaked. Now it's Rockus. He does find a pick. Things are looking a little bit better now for Face Clan, the 3v3, but the recon bolt does not give any information. They know players playing close. Has to reload with the baby base. Still finds him. Down to one final player. Guess who it is? It's Roka. He's going to start to peek through. Finds one. That's the headshot. Can't convert three on the round. Face Clan win the first round here of the second half and find themselves sitting in a really comfortable position now to put themselves at 10 and 4. Uh, okay. The the flank, ultimately, from Seth losing that fight in showers, at the end of the day, proved to be the difference maker, right? Like, them being able to rotate onto the site from the defender, or from the attacking spawn was just too much for Space Station, but right I don't here. understand Bustio in that right situation here. going aggressive. Right to get a, a pick and get, and get punished for it, right? Like we could be having a different, con an entirely different conversation about that round if he sits if he sits tight and doesn't play aggressively. But either way, Face Clan showing that at least in that round they were superior when it comes to managing the map, and that gets them the kill. <laughs> the kills, excuse me, <laughs> that that they need. Now Space Station, we'll see what they have. Face Clan has not aggressively pushed oh. for showers, but they are going to do it through. Baby Bay is a nuisance, and so is this face line roster that used every possible way to win a round. Creative thinking. They push through it through, through, through the portal, they commit the resources over, but Kaplan will nullify that and escape himself as well. The play looked great for FaZe Clan, but things are starting to really dwindle down those odds. It's down to the 3v2. They lost two players to Kaplan. Those exact Shadow heroics. Traveling. Go punish. Now it's just down to Zachary and Marv. Marv can be a nuisance as well alongside Zachary, but they have to answer the spike that is currently ticking down. Oh, Zachary spots one. Yeah, be careful though. Oh, he knew where the one swing was. He's able to take him. Seth challenges. Fortunately, his teammate was there and somehow he's still alive. Zachary, the last one standing here on the side face band at 65 health. Somehow doesn't get tag tagged up, wow. has to go aggressively. He had no choice. And Inski and the rest of Space Station just welcome him with open arms. Yeah, that was a tough spot to sit in if you are Zachary. He was trying to string it together the best that he could. But, you know, obviously it did end up going down to the 1v2 where they had a beautiful crossfire. A sandwich, if you will. Zachary was the 
creamy white Oreo center and space station gaming for the chocolatey chunks on the outside. Put in the Oreo, boom, did not escape. So for space station gaming, they win that second round of the second half. Similar to what FaZe Clan did the first time around in that first half. Now they're sitting pretty with weapons in tow, but we'll see if FaZe Clan decides to answer back with a round of their own. Somehow, some way, they're shown that they're capable of it, and as is Space Station Gaming. Not going to lie to you, Simo, when you started talking about a sandwich, the last place I thought you were going to go was an Oreo. It's technically a sandwich. It's just a yeah, candy yeah, sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I just... Yeah. I. That's not where I thought you were going to go. You keep me on my toes <laughs> at, at all times. We'll see how well on their toes are our face clan on the defending side. So far, things are looking great. They have four on the side of B, which is, just happens to be exactly where Space Station's poised. Inski's able to take care of Marv. That should allow them at least a little bit more wiggle room to get onto the site. Lucio deciding where he wants to use the paint shell to clear. They haven't cleared that right cubby side, and they don't really intend to as they want to clear the octagon instead. Now as they funnel and they find a player behind the tuna can, and just like Fish, he is out of the water. He's going to be taking down the two players remaining. They're down towards the defender side, and just like that, Space Station gave the gap himself. Flawless round, bring us up to free Base clan down two on the half, and now we'll see what their gun round, what they're capable of stringing together, but a very nice attack plan from Space Station game. And a very nice score as well. It was a great plan. It's been excellent uh, so far for Space Station here in this second half. They're able to get two, but as you said, now it's going to be guns. Now it's going to be interesting. Face Clan should. We'll see what Rockus decides to do here. Looks like he decided to invest a little bit in utility. Okay. Changed his mind, sold it, went for the gun, went for the firepower. So Face Clan again on a full gun situation here trying to keep Space Station at bay. And much like we saw in the previous round, it looks like Space Station is gonna to try to hit something onto B. Look at how Seth has to play that side of the map, right? He's investing so much utility and so much presence over by A because FaZe Clan has shown willingness to flank through spawn time and time again. Slow and steady seems to be the winning race here for Space Station Gaming, waiting to the last possible moment. Sometimes that can really cause a wrench into the plans, but Space Station Gaming have never proven that, that is a problem for them. Smoke, of course, going down. And Roku does get chipped away as the player, Zachary, on the tuna can sends some welcoming shots in his direction. Face Clan really undecided on where the push is going to end up. They've got three players stacked towards the A side, and the most important players might I add, from base clan, Marcus, Baby Bay, and Corey, the Empress Pop, Doug, that means that they need to secure this round as they're committing a hefty ultimate left. resorts to do so. Oh, it looks like they were pinged too. Pings out of phase clan came out knowing that we're, that's where the push is coming from and they're all going to be funneling through short one exception and that's going to be Seth will keep a close eye if he's able to do anything from that shower side but Space Station start to flood onto the site you see the blades from has been used by Baby Bay to try to keep Ten seconds he left. comes out of the smoke he delivers the blade and dices them up it's still going to drop down to one on the side of Space Station, and that's going to be Seth. Initially, we saw him push through showers, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter. He's going to get... Well, he stays alive, ultimately, but the time expired. There was not enough there. Yeah, I... I listen, the call there for Space Station Gaming, the correct answer to that question is beats me. I have no idea why they <laughs> five-stacked towards a short with 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 not 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 no other information and face clan were ready for that they they were ready for that particular instance i i don't really know why they didn't split up or try their hand at a little bit of a different approach but maybe um that was just the call that was made it was a gamble and unfortunately it didn't work out for space station gaming now they still have guns in hand and we'll see how they end up working their way up this time they've got two members in the showers Playing a little bit aggressively. Roka will be able to punish the player that's on the tuna can consistently. Drops down and so will his life. That early pick, this might be a good round here for Space Station Gaming. But it doesn't look like they want to play it aggressively here over on to B. And the truth is there's a ton of utility from FaZe Clan on that site too. Not to mention, and I was really just alluding to Cypher's utility, but now you've got the drone that comes up, becomes a a variable in the equation as well take a close eye. yep keep an eye on Corey. oh man that's going to give his position away all right he's going to back off he doesn't really have a choice and that's going to give space station license freedom to go to b 
They go soaring through the skies, get their way on towards this B site. Marv just waiting on the opposite side of that smoke alongside Ruckus, who's going to provide that firepower through the main archway to get onto the site. Kaplan planting that spike down, the rest spike of the team in planted. position. The firepower that Space Shot Station Gaming have are set up towards the cubby side, and the shock dart doesn't quite meet its mark, but Baby Bay alongside Marv will. Now it's just down to three players. Paranoia doesn't really do justice onto Bustio, but Baby Bay consistently being a problem. Finds two in the round, but there's still two more players Not remaining. Finds remaining. himself in the hands of Bustio. That's the refrag from Rockus. And now oh it's just down God. to Steph. He's all on his lonesome. They know exactly where he is. Shot's gonna be good for one. Can he find two more? The answer is no. Face Clan now staring down the barrel of potentially one over. more round, two more rounds. And they close out this map and take us all the way to split. Space Station Gaming need to find an answer if they want to catch up. Yeah, it's been mixed, mixed success here for Space Station and FaZe Clan have just looked really good on this side, to be honest. Like, th those rounds, it's not just that they're winning them, but it's how they're winning them, right? Like, Corey on the flank, everything is going well for them right now. And Space Station, at least on the attacking side, they, they just haven't been able to get as much going. And the truth is, Simo, if you look across the scoreboard, nobody's really popping off. Lucio is the only one who's close, and he's still at negative one as well. So the firepower, the, the slaying prowess, out of space station has been missing so far attempts have been made from bustio and from roca but it hasn't been hasn't been incredible face clan we still have to give them a lot of credit for being able to stave off these aggressive pushes from space station and now we're seeing one at our hands as well that's a showstopper pop he's looking for a mark he's gonna see one right there in the tuna can send him down zachary and marv will fall but there is a player still remaining, Rockus, and he's proving to be a problem. He'll take out his spike, spike of force still going down, but now it's the 4v3. You've got Corey, who rotates all the way through the defender spawn, alongside Baby Bay, who's going to come through Hookah. The spike ticking, they've got to make a move, got to make a decision on how they want to attack this type. Baby Bay could be leading the charge, just tries to smoke, clears the 50. Corey will help as he's starting to be a problem for Space Station remaining. Gaming on the site. Oh. That's Rockus as well. Now it's just down to Kaplan. He has Hunter's Fury. Watch and prepare for this bow and arrow to come through. But Kaplan decides to peek instead and right through his comrade's body. He will spray and find its mark. FaZe Clan now staring at map point and tying. Match point. FaZe Clan looks so comfortable on the retakes too. And I think the difficult thing is we've seen out of FaZe Clan for Space Station Gaming is that once they get onto the site and they get the spike down, you know, that's all great and dandy. From there, you assume your post plant positions. But FaZe Clan has continued to show us that they're very comfortable fighting for retakes from different sides of the map, right? Like you called it out there, it was Baby Bay who was coming in from their spawn, excuse me, from the attacking spawn and that caused fits. There was just not enough space station no to go way. around to keep them at bay. We'll see how things pan out here. Corey, oh, wow. Corey's already able to get two. Roke is going to go in aggressively here, but the Hunter's Fury was used. Bustio is able to get one with the Boom Bot, and that's going to drop things down to a 3v3 across the board. The spike has not gone down yet. Roke is going to push his way forward, and he's going to be met with a couple of bullets one from Mark. Kaplan trying to get the, th the spike down, but he stops to take care of one himself. It's just going to be a 1v2. Kaplan gets taken out. Defenders Ladies win. and gentlemen, we're going to map three. Phase up, baby. Phase up. Phase plan win a very important map number two and find themselves looking at the last and final map which will be of course split up against space station gaming